In a previous video, I showed you how to make this taser. Now let's see how to convert it into an electromagnetic pulse generator. This is the AMP device. When it fires, this coil generates a very strong electromagnetic field that is capable of disrupting electronic devices and even make permanent damage. In order to make the coil, take a cylindrical object of 5 cm in diameter and put some tape in one end. You need to put the tape in such a way that the sticky side is on the outside. And now we will wound the magnet wire around the tape. The tape will help prevent the wire from unwinding. Take your time and make sure that your coil is nice and even. It is convenient to apply instant glue or epoxy glue in order to give more rigidity to the coil. Now carefully take off the coil. I will use this terminal block to make a spark gap. Here it is, you just need to put two copper wires. The spark will jump between these two terminals and you can adjust the distance simply by bending the copper wires. I have made some quick connections just to test if the system works. This is the high voltage terminals which are connected directly to the output of the high voltage power supply which is this and here we have the battery pack in order to use it as an electromagnetic pulse generator we have to connect the coil to the high voltage output but using the spark gap in series now to test if it is working i'm going to put this fluorescent lamp and see if the electromagnetic field has some effect in it. As we could see, the lamp turns on when the system is working, which indicates that we have a strong magnetic field generated by the coil. Now I'm going to take off these terminals, which are no longer needed, and put the spark gap inside, so that only the coil is on the outside. Now the spark gap is hidden inside the box. Let me show you the connection diagram. Let's try first with this fluorescent lamp. We can see how the electromagnetic field makes the lamp glow. This small neon lamp needs about 80 volts to turn on. Let's see what it does to this old multimeter. The multimeter shows a reading even when it is not connected.
There are a lot of videos out there that say that you can use these devices in order to cheat slot machines. This, besides illegal, it is not true. These videos are fake. Slot machine makers are not dumb and they protect the electronics against these devices. In fact, it is very easy to block the electromagnetic pulse. You just need a thin sheet of metal used as this aluminum foil from the kitchen. Let's see. The calculator reading is affected by the electromagnetic pulse. You can see it turns to zero or gives another reading. Let's now do the same but with the aluminum foil covering the calculator. You can see that nothing happens.